Hello everybody, this is Paul. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. This lesson is going to be on how to multiply negative numbers. And uh, basically, multiplying negative numbers is going to be the same process as multiplying positive numbers, except for we have to determine whether or not our answer is negative or positive. So, the easiest way to do this is we count the number of negatives that are multiplied in our product. And that will tell us whether or not our answer is negative or positive. So, for instance, if we have an even number of negatives multiplied in our product, then we will have a positive answer. And if we have an odd number of negatives multiplied in our product, our answer will be negative. So let me go ahead and show you a couple examples of this. Let's say that we have negative 6 multiplied by a positive 3 multiplied by a negative 2. So we count the number of negatives in our product and we have 1, 2. So 2 negatives and the number of negatives that we have is an even number. And because the number of negatives we have is even, that implies that our answer will be positive. So we can simply rewrite this as a product of all positive numbers. 6 times 3 times 2. 6 times 3 is 18, which is multiplied by 2. And 18 multiplied by 2 gives us the answer of 36. So let's look at negative 2 multiplied by positive 3 multiplied by negative 4, multiplied by negative 3, multiplied by 5. So we count the number of negatives in our product, which is 1, 2, 3. We have 3 negatives, and 3 is an odd number. So the number of negatives we have is odd, which implies that our answer will be negative. So now we just go ahead and treat these as if they were all positives, but we put that negative on the left hand side here just to remember that our answer will be negative. So now we just treat these all as positive multiplication. 2 times 3 is 6, and that gets multiplied by 4, by 3, by 5, and then our answer will be negative. 6 times 4 is 24, by 3, by 5, and don't forget the negative. 24 times 3 gives us a 72, multiplied by the 5, and 72 by 5 gives us 5 times 2, which is 10, and 5 times 7 is 35, and we add the 1, 36. So 72 times 5 gives us the 360, and that's going to be negative, and we just rewrite that as negative 360. And that's our answer. So we really just multiply these numbers together as if they were all positive but because the amount of negatives in the product was an odd number, then that implied that our answer was going to be negative. So that's where I'm going to go ahead and stop the tutorial. I'll go ahead and put this up here just so that you can see that. And uh, anyway, hopefully that was educational for you. Um, all of my videos can also be seen on my website at learnmathtutorials.com. So thank you for watching these videos, and uh, let me know if there's anything else you want me to cover in math, and if not, I'll just keep on working through the things I think need to be covered, and uh, we'll see you next time. Have a great day.